what else? We solved a lot of problems, but you could end up missing smaller objects. And this is the case where multi-scale matters or having images at multiple resolution. And we saw this idea of feature pyramid also when we were doing semantic segmentation. What is the idea? If you want to detect smaller objects, then use a lower resolution or a high resolution image. If you want to detect larger objects, use uh, a lower resolution image and then push them through your architecture independently and then do your prediction. This is gonna end up being slow. Why? Because you have to do the same thing for every single, same operations multiple times for every single scale. Somebody might say there is also, or there is already some feature pyramids. Maybe you don't have image pyramids, but you have feature pyramids coming out of your convolutional neural network. Why don't you use, uh, put your head of your neural network per each feature map, per each layer? You could do that, and then your algorithm is still not perfect. It's still going to miss smaller objects or objects at different scales because these layers, yes, true, there is a feature pyramid structure to your neural network, but these are not as strong semantically compared to the deeper layers in your neural network. Why is that? Because these layers, we saw that, is going to focus on the texture, color, and the one on top are more discriminative. And you want all of them to be discriminative. What you're going to do is you do some upsampling, a one by one convolution and an addition here. And that way you are inheriting the strength of upper layers in your neural network. And then you can do your bounding box prediction at multiple scales. This was an assignment for you to watch. Any questions about this? So up until this slide, we were making our CNN faster and faster and more efficient, sharing computations. Here you are actually trying to make things more performant in terms of average precision. And you can see that there is a huge boost in terms of average precision. And the trick was looking at multiple scales.